Putin-backed candidate loses to communist challenger causing Russian authorities to cancel the election on the basis of misfiled paperwork. Here's a summary of the article. The communist wonderkind Valentin Konovalov should already be Siberia's youngest governor, but the elections he's supposed to win are cancelled every other week. Two of Konovalov's opponents have dropped out, delaying the vote by two weeks each, and now an elections commission claims he misfiled his paperwork. Signed into law by Vladimir Putin last month because of a need to balance the budget, the decision has fueled a fiery election season that already looked rough for Moscow. Russia has operated for more than a decade under a policy of «managed democracy», where elections are held, but the candidates are filtered and the results are preordained. The pensions did play an important role but politics is always a combination of factors, said Alexander Kinnev, a political analyst who studies Russian elections. So the attention it's received over a surprise protest vote, and then fumbling attempts to cancel the results, have made the election something of a laughing stock. So in order to get out the vote, the Kremlin dispatched heavyweight political advisers, musical performances and even an air show to Carcassia before the elections to raise public opinion. This post received a score of 30,620, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Misfiled paperwork. Some dummy didn't stuff the ballot box with enough fake votes. So they were being honest. Not honest enough for Putin. We only were going to let you have your election if you voted the right way. Since you did not do that, no election for you. Democracy Nazi. I'm sure there's a pun here somewhere but I'm in that weird middle ground where I see the potential but I'm not smart enough to actually make it happen. Democracy. As a bonus, I can't not read that in a Russian accent. There's an Arabic joke my dad loves to tell. A guy in Egypt goes up to his local voting station and decides that this year, he's going to brave it and vote for Mubarak's opponent. When he gets home, he starts getting worried. Worry turns to panic and he rushes back to the voting station shouting, Wait, I made a mistake. I want to change my vote. The poll official looks at him, smiles and calmly says, don't worry about it, we changed it for you already. Is he going to update the joke? My father's generation hated Mubarak, so probably not. A. Just change it to El Sisi and the result will be the same. Sad that after all Egypt has been through these past few years, it's still basically in the same place politically as the mid-2000s. Agreed. The whole Arab world needs something to change. It's not looking good though when you have people who are trying to affect those changes being tortured and killed. Problem is when Arab countries start to secularize and move in democratic directions, they also develop pan-Arabic and nationalist sentiments, which the Americans simply cannot abide. Would you mind explaining in more detail with regards to the development of pan-Arabic and nationalist sentiment genuinely interested? Wait a minute. Who filed genuine ballots in the ballot box? This election season in Russia is a shitshow even by Russian standards. In one district they had a corrupt fire department do an emergency evacuation due to carbon monoxide or something along those lines at a voting location right when the polls started showing that the Putin-backed candidate was going to lose. There's videos of corrupt firemen trying to evacuate people who know exactly what's up and simply refuse to leave and the firemen then blatantly trying to get into the voting booths to replace the ballots. There's also videos of entire police departments and military battalions being ordered to vote for specific candidates under threat. I didn't even know the votes were functional I figured it was a Soviet-style thing where the results are predetermined and the votes are cast out. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.